Numbers. We've always had them, right? Wrong. In prehistoric nomadic times, people did not have what we would call numerals today, but would have had a grasp of quantity and used basic carvings like how we would do this. When people eventually settled down, they had more time to think and develop language and numbers. The ancient Egyptians used their letters as numbers before developing this system, and it's believed that the Greek system was also inspired by the Egyptians. The Greek system is a little more complex, with each letter representing a number and letters being paired to make larger numbers in between. The Babylonians also had their own system, but just look at this. I personally think that it would be quicker to count our lines and symbols that we had earlier. The Romans revolutionised counting in Europe with their Roman numerals, which are believed to have been based on counting with your fingers, plus some alphabetic letters for the bigger numbers. This system stayed in place in Europe longer than you might expect. It actually stayed until the Middle Ages around the 11th and 12th centuries when we finally were introduced to the numbers that we have today, at least in their early form. Known as Arabic or Hindu Arabic numerals, these came originally from India, but made their way across the Middle East, into North Africa, and eventually into Europe, possibly through Spain or Italy. There's 10 digits, ranging from number zero to number nine, with multiple numbers being put together to make the bigger numbers. While the Europeans were busy messing around with letters and Roman numerals, the Indians developed a fantastic system coming up with the concept of zero around 500 AD, which believe it or not was a big deal. The Indians as well actually came up with negative numbers, as well as a number of algebraic equations that we still use to this day. So there you are. Next time you go for a big Indian carryout and get the bill, remember that you owe those Indians your numbers. As always, thanks for watching. If you're new here, please subscribe and feel free to like, comment and look through the other videos as I'm sure we have a topic that suits you.